Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and in today's beginner tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a freeze frame to your video in Final Cut Pro. Let's jump right in and get started. The easiest way to add a freeze frame to your video is by adding a hold frame to your clip right in your timeline. Simply skim over your clip, find the frame you want to freeze, hold down the option key and click on your clip to set the playhead over the frame and at the same time select your clip. Next, under the viewer window, from the speed drop down menu select hold. This freezes your selected frame for 2 seconds all inside the same clip. You can also do the same thing even faster by using a keyboard shortcut. I'll press command Z to undo the last step. To do the same thing even faster with your playhead or skimmer over the frame you want to freeze, use the keyboard shortcut shift H to freeze the frame you're on. Now there's a couple things you can adjust when using this method. You can adjust the length of your hold frame by dragging the end handle of the hold frame in the read time bar. If you selected the wrong frame to freeze, you can also adjust the selected frame. Double click on the end handle of the first segment and in the pop up, click the edit frame button. Click and drag the frame icon in the read time bar to select your freeze frame. And last, you can add speed transitions between your segments by double clicking on the handles at the end of a segment and selecting the speed transition checkbox. Do this at the end of your first segment and at the end of your whole frame. Another way you can freeze a frame in your clip is by adding a freeze frame. Skim over your clip and with the playhead over the frame you want to freeze, from the menu bar select edit and add freeze frame or use the keyboard shortcut option F. This makes a separate freeze frame clip of the selected frame and you can do quite a bit more with this. For example, you can add a transition and a sound effect to simulate a camera flash. First, ripple trim the freeze frame clip to the length you need. Select the start of the middle freeze frame clip, open the transitions browser and from the dissolves category, double click on the fade to color transition to add it to the start of this clip. Ripple trim the transition to about 5 frames and in the inspector, change the color to white. Add a camera shutter sound and repeat this multiple times for more than one freeze frame. When you're done, you have this cool camera freeze frame effect. Having a separate clip of your freeze frame allows you to do quite a bit more with it, like adding this cool freeze frame clone effect. I did a tutorial on this a while back, so if you want to learn how to do this, I'll leave a link for it in the video description below. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.